Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Today's video is part two of five where I talk about my top favorite bookkeeping tips. Today's video is all about gathering and sorting your receipts. Let's start by talking about paper receipts. First, how to gather your paper receipts. So you want to go and you want to search in any place you could possibly keep receipts. This could be your purse, your wallet, your car, a business briefcase, any clipboards or folders, your desk, drawers, your bookcase, a filing cabinet, anywhere you could possibly keep a receipt, you want to gather it all together and put it in one central place. That way, when you start sorting and processing your receipts, you have all the information you need. My tip is you take the time to get this step correct. This is where you don't want to cut quarters. At the end of the year, when you're doing your taxes, if you start to have a lot of receipts missing, it's going to create a lot of extra time and potentially lose you money. Because if you've forgotten about receipts you need to claim or you can no longer get receipts, it could potentially determine how much you can write off on your taxes. So by gathering your receipts right away, it's going to save you a lot of time and money in the long run. Now that you've gathered all of your receipts, you want to sort them. The way I recommend to sort your receipts is by payment type. That's debit cards, credit cards, cash, and even when you spend your personal money on business expense. Sort your receipts into each category. Then from there, you can sort them by month. I'm a big proponent of doing paperless bookkeeping, so I like to print off as little paper, paper as possible. However, if you're new to bookkeeping processes, one recommendation I can make is, by pr is printing off your bank statements and your credit card statements, and then matching your receipt to each statement. This is gonna give you a really good idea of what receipts you still need to go find and what receipts you have. This is a really great way to stay organized and get on top of your paperwork. If you choose not to print off your bank statements or credit card statements, just sort your receipts by month and then keep them aside for when you're ready to do data entry. Once you've completed your data entry, you want to think about long-term storage. There's two ways I recommend you storing receipts. My first recommendation is if you've sorted receipts by statement and you've attached the receipts to the statement, file it that way because it's already organized. I like to file my statements in a binder and have a divider per payment type. This keeps it really organized and it's much easier to sift through than files. However, whether you use a folder or a binder, it's completely up to you. If you choose to file your receipts this way, there's one thing to keep in mind. You'll have to remember roughly what the date was when you purchased the receipt and by which payment type. You can easily access this information through your accounting system, but it's just something to keep in mind. My second recommendation is getting a binder and then alphabet dividers. This is a letter of the alphabet on each divider. Then you can store all of your receipts, regardless of payment type, by vendor name. This makes it so easy to access what you're looking for. And if your binders get too full, you can just divide it into two binders very easily. Now you want to think about creating systems and processes for tracking paper receipts moving forward. This is going to help you be efficient and stay organized and also access information very easily when you need it. If you travel a lot in your car for business, you can simply create a storage unit right in your car. This could be a simple envelope or it could even be an accordion file where every time you get into your car, you put your receipts. This makes it really easy to transition from your car to the office and have all of your receipts in one place. If you choose to keep your receipts in your wallet, just be sure to not mix up personal receipts with business receipts. Also, empty your wallet on a regular basis so no receipts go missing. Once you get into your office 
or wherever you do your bookkeeping, you want to keep your receipts in one central place. This can be a folder on your desk. This can be in a drawer, in a filing cabinet, on a bookcase. It really doesn't matter. Whatever place works best for you in your office for your systems. We just want all of the information in one place so when it comes time to sorting your receipts and processing your receipts, you have everything you need and you don't have to keep going hunting for it. Now we want to talk about gathering and sorting online receipts. The best way to gather and sort online receipts is by creating a checklist of all your online accounts. This can be telephone bills, utility bills, software accounts, subscription accounts, schooling accounts, any account that you access for your business. Create a checklist including all of your login information. This can be the website address, your login name, your password, and any other essential information for this website. When it comes time to do your data entry, you can work through this checklist of all your online accounts and download the receipts you need one by one. This way you don't have to be sorting through bank accounts and credit card accounts to see what you purchased when and what account you need to remember. All of the information is in one place. Here's a quick tip. Even though you can access these receipts online, I still recommend that you download them either onto a cloud-based storage system or your computer. With some online accounts, you can only access the receipts for a limited amount of time, and you always want to make sure you can access receipts when you need them. Once you've downloaded all of the receipts you need, you want to create a storage system to access your receipts easily. First create a folder called To Be Processed and then put all of the receipts you've just downloaded into this folder. Then you can set up a second set of folders for once these receipts have been entered. You can simply create one folder called Processed, you can create folders per month, or you can create folders per vendor name. There is no right or wrong way to set up these folders, it really depends on what works best for you. Once these receipts are entered, just transfer the receipt into the correct folder accordingly. Then all of your receipts are processed, organized, and you can reference them when you need to. The last category of receipts we want to take a look at are email receipts. This process is going to be very similar to your online receipt process. In your email, create a subcategory called receipts to be processed. As emails come in with receipts, put them into this folder. Then we want to set a second set of folders called simply to be processed or by month or by vendor name so that when you're done processing the receipts, that could be paying the receipt or entering them into your accounting system, you can then file, file them accordingly. This is going to keep your receipts so organized, your email so organized, and you're going to access your receipts very easily. Now we want to create a structure for your email moving forward. My first recommendation is if you're getting emails to multiple email accounts, start streamlining your email address to become one. This may take some time as different emails come in, but gradually and long term, this is going to make your processes so much cleaner. You're not going to have to guess where certain receipts went. It's all going to be in one place. Then consistently put emails into this to be processed folder and regularly clean it out. That way, at your end, you're not stuck with multiple emails to go through and potentially have missed information. If you want to take your emailed receipts to the next level, my recommendation is to download them and save them onto your cloud-based system or your hard drive with your online receipts. This keeps your receipts even more organized and even more central so you're not going to multiple places to find them. This is not essential, but it will help you in the long run. My last piece of advice for gathering and sorting receipts is take your time. If this is the first time you're doing this, it can be really overwhelming, especially if you have a lot of payment types and a lot of receipts. In the long run, doing this step thoroughly is going to save you a lot of money, keep you really organized, and make your year-end process so much faster. 
Thank you so much for watching another video and I'll catch you in the next one.